Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are doing well. So here is the second part of our previous video. In that video I have solved the problems that is the word problem from the exercise 1 and 2 of uh, linear equations in two variables. Okay. In this video I will be solving the word problems of third exercise. Okay. So watch the video till last you are going to learn certain things which you might not get anywhere else okay so let us start but before that if you are new to this channel kindly do subscribe it and if you find this video useful do share it with your friends okay so with that let me start today's session so this is exercise 3.3 okay so as I have told I will be solving only the word problems given. So here is the question. Let me read it for you. Form the pair of linear equations for the following problems and find their solution by substitution method. Okay. So in your exam you will directly get the question. Okay. You will not get to solve whether by substitution or elimination method. You will get question like this and they will ask find the value uh, like uh, they have given here find them. So let me solve the first question. The difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other. Find them. Okay. So there are two numbers. For example, if I take four and five. So difference between these two that is five minus four is how much? Here it is 1 and uh, 3 times a number like uh, 4 is 3 times a number something like this they have given. So we don't know the number. So what we are going to do we will just assume okay one number okay as x and the other number as y. Now see the difference between these two numbers. So x minus y this is the difference as per, as per the data is how much 26 and second data is one number let me take one number x is this is three times the other got it so what are the numbers so this is equation one and this is equation two so substitute x is equal to 3y in equation one so what will we get we'll get uh, x minus y equals to 26 and this can be written as 3y minus y equals to 26 which means 2y equals to 26 and therefore y is equal to 26 by 2 which is equal to 13 so y is how much 13 so this is the value of y okay and what about x x is equal to 3y so 3 into 13 that is 39 so these are the two numbers 39 and 13 okay you can check it cross verify it. 39 minus 13 is how much 26 and uh, 39 is equal to 3 times of 30 isn't it so i hope you have understood this concept moving to the next question so this is your second question the larger of two supplementary angles exceeds the smaller by 18 degrees find them so first of all you should know what do you mean by supplementary angles so two angles if i take uh, one as uh, angle a and other as b these two are equal to 180 if these two are equal to 180 we can call angle a and b as supplementary so this is the data which they have given by using the term two supplementary angles okay so let me write the two angles as l plus s okay larger angle and smaller angle let l be the larger angle and s be the smaller angle so l plus s should be equal to 180 degree now one more thing if they had given complementary angles so complementary angles equals to 90 degree so remember that also okay now coming back to our question the larger of the two supplementary angles so l exceeds the smaller by 18 degree so it exceeds x uh, sorry s smaller angle s by how many degrees by 18 degrees correct find two of them so these are the two datas one and two 
you can also write this as x and this as y but l for large number and uh, larger angle and s for smaller will make this problem more easier okay so now i will substitute l is equal to s plus 18 in equation number one so this becomes let me write this equation one here now at the place of l i will replace it as s plus 18 plus what is this s you can write it as s which is equal to 180 so 2s is equal to 180 minus 18 how much is that this is 2 this is 6 1 so 2s is equal to 162 right so what about s smaller angle 162 by 2 which is equal to 2 8s and 2 1s so smaller angle is equal to 81 degree what about larger yes just add 18 l is 81 plus 18 how much is that 9 9 so angle the one which is larger is 99 degree now if you see if you add both of them it should be equal to 180 then only we can say they are complementary isn't it yes they are complementary here so this is how you have to solve these type of problems understand and just write it okay so moving to the next question I hope you have understood this so here is our third question it says the coach of a cricket team buys seven bats and six balls for rupees 3800 later she buys three bats and five balls for 1750 find the cost of each bat and each ball so let me write the cost of each bat okay as x and cost of each ball as y so now read the question again cost of seven and six balls so 7x plus 6b 6y is how much 3800 this is equation one and equation two says five sorry three bats okay so 3x plus 5y equals to 1750 this is equation number Two. okay so I hope you can solve this if not let me just try this and the rest two questions I'll be giving only the equation you have to solve them and tell the values of the given question so these are the two equations see I will solve them using elimination method okay because uh, none of the coefficient of x or y are 1 so it will be a little difficult to solve them in substitution method okay so what can we do we'll just multiply this with 3 and this with 7 okay so this becomes 21x plus 18y and this is equal to 0 0 4 and this is 3 3 is a 9 10 11 what about this again 21x plus uh, 35y and this is equal to how much yes it is 0 7 5 is 35 3 carry uh, 49 50 51 52 5 carry 7 plus 5 is how much uh, it is uh, 12 now just subtract them okay so one of the term will be get eliminated here this one and what about this 75 minus 8 is in this is uh, 7 15 minus 8 is 7 and here 6 minus 1 is 5 so 57 y is equal to multiply this 0 minus 0 5 minus 0 5 since this is bigger number I am subtracting from this now here 12 minus 4 is 8 so 850 so y will be equal to the rest will become 0 right 850 divided by 57 isn't it so i think i have committed a mistake here where 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 this is fine it's fine fine 7 5 is 35 yeah here it is mistakenly written as 75 this is 35 okay because 7 5 is almost 35 now calculate see so what will happen here okay let me erase this okay so in maths a simple calculation will give you the different answer or will not get the answer property 
okay so again this gets uh, cancelled and here 35 minus 18 is how much 17 correct that is minus 17 y and you will get minus 10 minus uh, 0 minus 0 is 0 5 minus 0 is 5 12 minus 4 is 8 so 850 and that is also minus okay now both of them are minus okay i have written it twice now y will be how much minus 850 by minus 17 both of the minus will get cancelled and here you will get 17 5 is 85 and this is 0 so the cost of what is y y we have taken as ball the cost of one ball is 50 what about bat so substitute in either of one or two okay so let me write it here so 7x plus 6 that is bigger number let me take the smaller one 3x will be equal to 70 15 1750 minus 5y is 50 so this is 1750 minus 5 is a 25 so 0 minus 0 5 minus 5 0 and 17 minus 2 is 15 so x is equal to 1500 by 3 that is 500 so the cost of bat is 500 rupees and ball is 50 rupees okay so i hope you have understood okay now moving to the next question that is question numbers four so coming to the fourth question now what does it says the taxi charges in a city consist of a fixed charge together with the charge for the distance covered okay for a distance of 10 kilometer the charge paid is 105 rupees and for a journey of 15 kilometer the charge paid is 155 what are the fixed charges and the charges charge per kilometer how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometer okay so there are two types of charge okay one is fixed i will take it as uh, x and the other is charge per uh, charge for distance cover okay i will take it as y now for a distance of 10 kilometer okay it means what fixed charge is included x they will already charge it plus 10 kilometer extra 10 y is how much 105 this is the first case and in the second case the distance traveled was 15 kilometer right so that becomes x plus 15 y equals to 155 this is number two now we have to find the value of x and y first so i can easily substitute uh, i can write first equation as x equals to 105 minus 10 y right and this if i write in this equation 15y equals to 155. This is 105 minus 10y plus 15y equals to 155. So this becomes 105 plus 5y, which is equal to 155. So 5y equals to 155 minus 105. Since it is added here, it will get subtracted. So this becomes 0 and uh, 5 minus 5 is 0 5 minus 0 is how much 5 so 5y is equal to 50 y is 50 by 5 which is equal to 10 so the value of y is how much 10 rupee this is the charge per kilometer now what about x x is 105 minus 10y right as per this data so 105 minus 10 into 10 that is 105 minus 100 which is equal to 5 so this is the fixed charge now we got the charge for uh, the fixed charge and the charge per kilometer okay now another question is how much does a person have to pay for traveling a distance of 25 kilometer so what should be the answer so for 25 kilometer it becomes x plus 25y right because this is fixed so x is 5 plus 25 into what is y 10 
so 5 plus 250 which is equal to 255 rupees so this much he or she has to pay for a distance of 25 kilometer okay i hope it's clear moving to the fifth question now so fifth question says a fraction becomes 9 by 11 if 2 is added to both numerator and denominator so fraction uh, it is always in the form of p by q so let me take this as p by q okay this is a fraction it becomes 9 by 11 this becomes 9 by 11 okay if 2 is added to both numerator and denominator so if 2 is added to numerator as well as denominator okay next if 3 is added to both numerator and denominator, it becomes 5 by 6. It means what? P plus 3 and Q plus 3 will get you 5 by 6. Find the fraction. Means you need to find P and Q value. And you have to write in the form of P by Q. So how are you going to write? Yes. Do the cross multiplication. Yes. So this becomes 11 into P plus 2, which is equal to 9 into Q plus 2. Correct? So this is 11p plus 22 equals to 9q plus 18. So get everything to LHS. This becomes 11p plus 22 minus 9q minus 18 equals to 0. So 11p minus 9q plus how much is this? 4. Correct? Equals to 0. This is your first equation. Similarly, cross multiply in this this becomes 6 into p plus 3 equals to 5 into q plus 3 in the beginning i said i will not be solving these problems but i'm solving it for you okay so that uh, it makes your work easier you can practice it 6p plus 18 equals to 5q plus 15 bring all to lha 6p minus 5q plus 18 minus 15 equals to 0 so 6p minus 5q and what is this plus 3 equals to 0 this is equation 2 okay so try to answer these two questions okay these two equations okay you have to tell me the value of p and q okay you can write it in the comment section now moving to the last question okay so the question says that Five years hence, hence means from now, okay, five years from now, the age of Jacob will be three times that of his son. So let me write, this is Jacob and this is his son. So present age be X of Jacob and Y be of his friend. Now, five years hence means after five years. So this is 5 years hence, this becomes x plus y, x plus 5 and this is y plus 5, right? Now read the question again, 5 years hence, the age of Jacob will be 3 times that of his son. So x plus 5 will be 3 times of y plus 5, correct? So next, 5 years ago, 5 years ago means this is x minus 5 and this is y minus 5, isn't it? They have given Jacob's age was 7 times as that of his son. So x minus 5 is equal to 7 times of y minus 5. What is their present age? So let me give you the equation. You have to tell me the age. This is 3y plus 15. Get all to the LHS. x minus 3y plus 5 minus 15 equals to 0. So x minus 3y minus 10 equals to 0. This is equation 1. Similarly, x minus 5 equals to 7y minus 35. So x minus 5 minus 7y plus 35 equals to 0. So x minus 7y plus 30 equals to 0. This is your second equation. So these are the two equations. Okay. You can send these to RHS. It becomes x minus 7y equals to minus 30. Okay. Similarly, this is x minus 3y equals to 10. Okay. Both of them are correct. I hope it's clear. So try to answer the questions of answer the values of these two questions, fifth and sixth, in the comment section. Okay, and if you have any doubt, you can write it in the comment section as well. That as well. Okay, so thank you for watching.
i hope you have understood we'll see you all in my next video till then take care bye have a great time